Hey, hey, just thought I'd check in. As you can see, I'm a bit hot in spots and a bit sweaty. I've just done a one hour um, F50 class, I call it. It's like F45, but it, we do 50 second intervals. Um, it's, a, it's sort of aimed at people over 55 and I'm not even 50 yet, but I just um, join in because um, I think the intensity of it is enough for my joints and my lower back and everything. Until I'm fitter and stronger, then that's something I can do under the supervision of a personal trainer who can make sure I'm doing things safely. Um, funny enough today, there's some couple of girls who are maybe 20 joined in and they enjoyed it and they were pretty wrecked at the end. Um, and I, I reckon the oldest person in the class today was 90 something and she was so cool. She couldn't quite um, grasp the concept of the hula hoop. So she just held it, held it around herself and just whizzled the hips around instead and it was just so beautiful to watch um i haven't checked in for a few days but um i'm really on track at the moment i'm really happy i'm so full of energy i um i've switched one of my shakes a day to a vegan plant-based shakes and while i'm not into vegan um i like meat too much i can see the benefits of kind of switching my proteins on a day-to-day -day basis or week-to-week -week, or, or just reducing some of the um animal based proteins that I do consume and, and in doing so my energy levels have actually increased. Um, a disclaimer, I do use some caffeine um, energy shots for my workouts because I need to get through the barriers that are in here. Um, I had a bit of a sad news actually just before I jumped online an, an old friend of mine who's probably 50, 55 maybe? I think has just had some multiple strokes and is in hospital and not not expected to wake up. Um, um, uh, I don't know if it sounds bad to say, but I'm a bit not surprised. I, he just it, the lifestyle choices of this friend have kind of probably contributed largely, and I'm not judging on that. I'm just sad that he didn't make sort of better choices especially in the last few years and and I had tried to kind of encourage it but sometimes people just can't get through their own uh, depressions and and they might abuse things they shouldn't abuse like alcohol um so and my heart goes out to the family who's probably really having a tough time of that at the moment um my own husband actually had a, a scare a couple of weeks ago he, he'd um stopped exercising last year because he kept feeling a bit dizzy and faint but everything sort of checked out fine um but he, he he was too scared to go back to exercising and even just going for a walk with him he was getting a bit dizzy when we were going up hills and it's like this isn't really normal so he had a he has an ongoing cardiac appointment anyway every year so he was just due for one so I'm like this time to say look can can you investigate a bit deeper? I'm not happy. Um, if you can't investigate more, I'll find someone who can. So as it turns out, his uh, heart surgeon was quite happy to send him in for an angiogram because he said it's been seven years since um, his last one. And as it turns out, there was a couple of arteries blocked 90%, two 90% blockages. Um, you know, in the last four years, he and I have tried really hard to um, have a healthier lifestyle and even his cholesterol readings in the last couple of years have been really really good so it's come as a huge shock and a, and just a bit more of a wake-up call as to what more can he and i do to to you know try to ensure our longevity um he, he got a couple of stents put in and since then he's managed to go on the rowing machine for 15 minutes and we're going for walks and he's doing really really well and he's really happy with that so I guess the lesson here today is don't wait for a really big health scare before you do something about your health. If you're not happy where you are with your health, then make small changes and it, all it takes is that first step and then the next day you just do another step, the next day you do another step and you just keep on going because um, health scares are, are not pretty. You know, we've got a, another friend of ours had a major stroke a couple of years ago, he would have only been 40 or 46 at the time um, and we're lucky he's still with us and he's actually back working and he's back driving so it might have been three or four years now so it's a good two-year recovery and lots of physio and stuff like that um, 
his eyesight will never be the same. His brain can't put the two images together, so he has to like wear an eye patch to get by. But apart from that, he's just grateful every day. In his case, he doesn't really you know, like. There were some lifestyle choices, like from years and years ago, that may have contributed to him having a stroke. But he's he's unaware of his genetic makeup because he's adopted, so he doesn't know. If, you know it was a high risk anyway in his family um but it, that too was a wake-up call for us because i uh, guess he's our bestest friend in the whole wide world so life just would not have been the same without him around so i'm glad to still have him um and glad that he's doing things now to make sure he, he's going to be around for his kids as long as he can be he's eating healthy he's doing some exercise he's working every day um and yeah, he's still having fun. He'll have the odd tipple, but he's not going overboard. Anyway, again, the point of this is, if you've been thinking about it, please just go and do something. Go find one thing that is today that is going to improve your health, even if it's going for a walk for 15 minutes and, and it's something you don't usually do, okay? Um, have a great day. I've got quite a few more things to get done today, so I better go off and have some lunch. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. I still need my lunch. Um, have a great week too and bye.